All right, guys, so welcome back to another video. So today I have the hack motion sensor and flight scope Mivo Plus. What I want to show you is the correlation between the uh, deflection or extension in my wrist at the top of my backswing and at an impact and see how that affects the trajectory of the balls. Also in relation to how I start my setup. So anyways, I'm going to look at this number. So it's three numbers, my setup, my backswing and my impact. And I'm going to show you the trajectory of the ball. So stay tuned. Okay, so I already calibrated the sensor. I have a part three here and uh, it's 155 yards to the pin, half a seven iron. Uh, I got the hog motion sensor activated and let's just see what happens. Okay, this is a little left, but it felt pretty good. Okay, so this was pretty good. It was uh, 31 at address, 23 at the top, and on impact, 15. Now, it will tell you if you are out of the range. It will show here where it says range offset at top and range offset at impact. So if you're out of the range, it will tell you. Now, if I look at the replay, I can see that uh, I started uh, with a pretty good position there on my wrists, uh, a little bit extended, and I maintained that position. So this was a pretty, pretty good shot. Okay, that also felt pretty good. This was quite long actually, so it'd be interesting to see what caused it to be a little longer. Okay, so this was my fifth shot, my last shot. It was 34, uh, 28 at the top, and impact 18. So pretty, pretty consistent there. Uh, same here. And this was actually my best one. So I maintained that angle, as you can see there. And if I look at the numbers, I went from uh, 34 to 28. So there's a little bit a little correlation there uh, the number was lower and at the top uh, the difference from the top to bottom was a little from uh, address to top was a little less so for the five shots this is what you will see uh, it gives you a summary uh, for this one I was in the range so if you were out of to go out of the range you will see that here and it will actually give you some um, some uh, suggestions on what to do and um, these are all the shots as you can see I'm within the range there address stop and impact and if you're out of the range it will it will be in yellow and far from the range it will be in orange okay so now i have a driver i have a par four i'm going to see how the numbers are affecting my swing uh, as i extend or as i flex so okay my normal fade there a little bit to the right Okay, so this one was plus 31 at address, plus 42 at the top, and it says at the top was a little bit off the range, so plus six off the range. Not that much, but off the range. The impact, however, was within the range, so this is what I was talking about. Let's look at the replay. If I look at the replay, how my wrists are there, and how I maintain that, but uh, it was overall pretty good. It was a decent shot. Okay, so this is my fade. A little bit too much to the right, maybe in this case. Pretty good distance though, for me. Okay, so this is my third shot. It was at address plus 25, at the top plus 40. And this tells me that it was off the range and it was actually a lot off the range because it's in, a, in red. And impact, however, was uh, within the range. So let's look at the replay and see what happened there. Uh, I think I copped a little bit my, my wrist on my downswing a little bit and that caused it to, to go a little bit too much to the right, I would say. Okay, this is pretty nice. Nice little fade. And this is the best one, I think. Yeah, definitely the best one. So let's look at the numbers on this one. Okay, so this was my last shot number uh, fifth shot and uh, look at this it was everything within the range so address 32 top 36 within the range and impact plus 12 within the range so everything was within the range and guess what this was the best shot so let's look at the graph here i maintained that that um, that wrist position throughout the swing definitely here you can see that i did that 
So if I look at the Mibo Plus, this was definitely my best shot. 238 carry, 247 distance. And so it's not only the hat motion that is telling me it was a good, good, good positions on the top and on, on the impact and at the dress. The Mibo Plus is, is supporting that information because it's telling me that this was by far the best drive. Okay, so this is all my averages, like the 7 iron as well. But in here, you can see that I have a few out of the range. And here's where you can see that there is a little problem on the on the swim positions at the top. Uh, so if you if you tap on fixing extension at the top, it will give you a description. So it says uh, based on your average address position, you tend to extend to cup your wrist too much at the top, which opens the club face and make and makes it difficult to consistently square it at impact so this is quite interesting it's saying that i cup my wrist a little bit too much at the top and then it will give you also some drills what you can do some suggestions as well as some drill descriptions so this is quite interesting you can uh, i can see people can golfers can actually benefit from here so as you can see on my seven iron there was no nothing to fix However, on my driver, uh, there was an issue. I mean, on that driver, the last driver, that was huge for me. That was a uh, two, uh, 250, I think. And basically there, what I did is I, I kept my, my flex, my flexion here at the top. So I kind of already did it because I wanted to, to maintain it there just to see what numbers it gave me. So from here, I felt like I was just keeping it there. Not try to like cup my wrist. And as you know, when I did that, uh, that translated into a longer distance so i think you can you get the idea so overall for me i'm pretty happy with my numbers i think uh it's just confirmed what i'm doing that i'm doing it right uh again um i think for someone who is uh who has no idea uh what their swing is i think this will be very useful you can have some numbers and understand what you're doing on your backswing and your impact so i think that's that's huge that's very important so this for me can help me understand that i have to maintain my flex on my downswing okay guys so i hope you enjoyed that video uh it could be a little complex i understand all the numbers but i think uh, if you keep it in perspective with those three numbers and what i'm going to do in the future i think this could be very very useful uh maybe a high handicapper it could definitely help them a lot i think uh, to try to understand what the numbers are the big variations from the address position to the top and the impact. I think uh, if you can see that in numbers, uh, it can definitely help people. What I'm going to try to do is maybe uh, do a session outdoors uh, at the range uh, with a high handicapper and try to show you those numbers and see how that changes. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time.